important feature of any AI machine learning and data science service is the ability to be able to reproduce the work, Spe especially when many teams work on the same project. Often libraries change. You want to try maybe a new version of a TensorFlow, but then it doesn't work very well. You want to go back to the previous one version. And you want to make sure that you kind of be able to persist these environments and even maybe put some version control on them to make sure that you can reproduce your work. So let's talk today about how we could do this in the Oracle Data Science Service. My name is Ludmil Pelov, and I'm a product manager in the Data Science and AI Services team. When you log into the Oracle Cloud, here on the left side in the hamburger menu, you can search for the Data Science Service, which is here. You can pin it and open it like this. And here, um, you have to create a new project to be able to start to work. I have already a project available here, but let me show you very quickly how that works. So this is a project, let, let's call this project a Conda Environments and create it like this. Now we are in the projects and here we can start working with the Oracle Data Science Service. And what we are going to talk about today is the um, notebook sessions and the abilities within the notebook sessions. So to create a notebook session, you just have to create and click on that button, uh, put a name, let's say the test. Here you can select from uh, various uh, shapes that you can use. So let's go in for our use case, try to use uh, one of the shape here. We can get, let's say four CPUs with a 32 gigabyte of memory, for example. So let's go ahead and create this one. We can also, um, set the amount of a block storage that we want to use and the subnet required. All right, let's go. Okay, it takes a little bit time to create the notebook. Um, the one that I've just created, it's now ready to go. And we can open the notebook by clicking on this open button here. So let me go ahead and do so. All right, the notebook is now loaded. And something you will notice here is the Environment Explorer. So this is what we're going to talk about in this video. So if you click on the Environment Explorer, you will have access to the environment, um, the Conda environments within the Data Science Service. The Oracle Data Science Service integrated Conda Packs. And with Conda Packs, you have the ability to uh, manage the environments that you're using during your AI uh, machine learning and data science projects. And with this, uh, we increase the ability for reproducing the work you've done, but also be able to take this environment and use exactly the same when you want to store the model and later to deploy the model. So these are the available Conda pack environments we have already into the notebook. Also, you are free to create your own Conda environments or extend the existing one. So let's go and see what we have as available uh, Conda packs at the moment. You see here in these three, but, uh, these three uh, filters, these are the available Conda environments, then um, you can publish Conda environments and use them somewhere else, or you can move Conda environment for one tenancy or one region to another. And here are the installed um, Conda environments. As you can see at the moment, I don't have anything installed and anything published. So let's go ahead and see what I have available. Here in the architecture, you can go and select between CPU and GPU Conda environment. I'm using a CPU based machine. So I can go ahead and install a CPU based Conda environment. You will see that we have, for example, Conda environment for TensorFlow, for PyTorch, if you wanna use them. Uh, most of them have also uh, the ADS library. The ADS library is the Oracle Accelerated Data Science Service that makes some of the work in the notebooks and using some of the OCI features easier for you. All right, for my purposes, I'm gonna go and select the general machine learning. The general machine learning has uh, most of the most popular uh, data science libraries like scikit-learn, HDBoost, LightGBM, uh, Keras, and uh, Oracle AutoML. So this is the Conda pack that I'm interested on. And here there is a install tab. The install tab shows me how I can install this uh, Conda environment into my notebook. So I can click on this button here, and this is going to copy this command line. And if you go back to the launcher here, I can click on the terminal. The terminal is loading. And now I can paste this command line here and start installing my Conda environments. It's gonna ask me if I wanna keep the same version number. So in my case, this is fine. 
and now the installation process is going to start. It's going to download the pack from the object storage and pack it and install it for me automatically. All right, my Conda pack is now installed and we can use the standard Conda tools to see the available Conda environments. So we can do, uh, let's, let's clear this one and do Conda info environments and you will see the new Conda that we just installed. This is this one here. So if I, if I copy this one, I can now say uh, Conda activate and the path to this Conda and this Conda is now activated. And here I can see, for example, what packages, Python packages are installed. Go back to the environment explorer. If we hit the refresh button, we will notice now that under installed Conda environments, we have already one. So if you click here, you will see the Conda environments that was already installed. This one here changed to green and shows installed Conda environment, the name of the environment and everything that you've seen from before. So what you will notice here is that we can also publish Conda environments. Uh, publish Conda environments is very useful if you, for example, modify the Conda environment and you want to publish new version to the object storage and you want to share this version with other teams so that they can use for their projects exactly the same versions of libraries that you use for your work. With this, uh, you have also the ability to use the Conda environment, even if change, for example, for model deployment. So to publish a Conda environment, we have to go and get this line here. So let's copy again this line and go back to the terminal. Let's clear here very quickly and paste the command line. Why is this message appearing is because first we need to make sure that we have an object storage and we um, initiate this object storage with our Conda environments. So let's go and make the object storage. So we go back to the Oracle infrastructure here from the hamburger menu on the storage. We have buckets. So let's click on this one. And in my case, I have already bucket, but let's create a new one. This is an object storage bucket. So we'll say that this is Conda bucket. This is gonna be a standard storage uh, with uh, standard encryption. So let's create it. And once we have it, um, there are a few things that we have to remember. So the one is the Conda bucket name. And the next one is the namespace of the Conda. So how to use this object storage. So you notice that there is a command line utility. And with this, we can see what are the abilities I have here inside. So I can list condos, I can install condos, and so on and so on. And one thing that is here interesting is the init, which basically initializes the configuration of the bucket name and bucket space so that I can use them to publish my condo environments. And the command line for this is uh, available and it's also given here. So what we need to do is we need to replace the bucket space with the bucket space of the one of the object storage that we created. So if we go back, we need to take this one here, go back to our terminal and paste it here again. And then the next thing that we need is the bucket name. So the bucket name is the one from here. Let's copy this one and paste it here. So here we go. Let's start and initialize this bucket. So with this, our bucket is now install, uh, initialized and we can now go back and execute the previous command that failed. So this is the one here. So let me enter it. And it's going to start publishing the Conda environment to the um, object storage. So this will take a little bit time. Until the publishing is uh, in working, let me show you something else very cool about the Conda environments. Um, here in the launcher, uh, which you can either go and start from a uh, new launcher from here, or you can just click on this plus icon, you will notice uh, notebook examples. So if you click on the notebook examples, you will see the Conda environments that we've stored and then the samples that are underneath this Conda environments. So we have only one Conda environment installed right now, which is the MLCPU version one. And here are the sample notebooks for this environment. So we'll see, for example, how to use ADS library to deploy model, ADS tuner for hyper tuning parameters. And there are some samples about binary classification. Um, and then we have other examples about uh, classification. The MLX is uh, our samples around model explainability library that we have integrated into the notebooks. Is that let's go and get the getting started one. 
All right, so the notebook, uh, getting started notebook just loaded. And uh, one cool ability about the notebook, uh, the Conda environments within the um, data science service notebooks is that you can switch on select with which Conda environments you wanna work in a particular notebook. So here on the top right side, you'll see uh, this Conda slug. When I click on it, I can select um, the available um, Conda environments. Currently, I have only the MLCPU version one installed, or I can go for the plain Python one. If I install more Conda environments, they're going to appear here. And depending on my need, I can switch between the different Conda environments and versions. Let's go back to our terminal here. And so we can see the Conda environment was successfully uploaded to the object storage. So let's go back to the uh, object storage one on the storage. We can pin that one, the bucket. And this is the Conda bucket that we created. And here we will see that there is a new folder now created, which is called Conda environment. And on the Conda environment, there is a CPU, the, the name of the Conda environment, uh, the version of the Conda environment, and here is the Conda environment itself. So now as published, this Conda environment can be used also from other teams. And that's for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.